Good morning, this is 8th grade session 18. There's some very important moral content in, in uh, this section. First off, go ahead and uh, read this page. Get to know this well. Reading the next page. Continue reading here, Sin and Human Nature. What is sin? What is good and evil? And answer the questions about that chapter. Next, we'll be reading the information about faulty moral reasoning. There's a picture of Pope Benedict XVI. There's uh, several different errors of judgment that people can have about morality. Relativism, uh, the belief there is no absolute good or evil. It's all relative to the person. Uh, it leads to moral ambiguity and confusion. Consequentialism, just judging the morality of an action by its outcome. Is, was the outcome desirable or not? Uh, if I make my wife unhappy by giving her flowers, that doesn't mean that it was a bad thing to do. Uh, of course, she would be happy with the flowers. But that's consequentialism. Go ahead and after you read that, answer the questions here. Uh, you're going to be examining the following scenarios and determining whether each is an example of relativism, consequentialism, or is morally right. So you'd answer that here. So read the scenario and see if that is uh, good judgment, good moral judgment, or, or not. Uh, and if it's not good moral judgment, is it relativism or is it consequentialism? This might be a, a new kind of uh, exercise for you. If you get confused, please go ahead and email me or call me, text me. I'll be happy to help you if you get stuck. Okay, so go ahead and go through all of the different moral scenarios. Uh, it's very good to be able to evaluate these things. Relativism and consequentialism are everywhere in our society today. There's so many people who use those to judge their actions, and it is a, a very faulty way to reason uh, that is not in line with our Lord. Uh, so it's good to be able to recognize that. And then lastly, steps to make good moral choices. Read the information and respond to the prompts. Just ask yourself uh, these questions, and then you can make a, a scenario where you would use these steps to guide your decisions. God bless you. Have a beautiful week.